Welcome to Real Food, um, and it's um, December in London, and we're cl very close to Christmas, and we're still in this lockdown. It's now tier four, and um, I don't know if there if there are any higher uh, bands for for lockdown. I think this is one of the highest, so we're in this lockdown. But um, um, thankfully, our food delivery services are still running. And um, I've I wanted to review this restaurant for a long time because I've been using it a lot and I've been using um, this restaurant over a long period of time. This place is called um, Hair and Tortoise, and it is yet another Japanese um, or or Asian, as you can guess, because I do like Japanese food, and um, they um, they have a really good choice of. Um, Japanese sushi, snacks, um, hot or cold meals, um, soups, etc. Pretty much everything, really. So today I ordered um, via Deliveroo again. And um, what I ordered, this is one of my favorites, actually. They do also really amazing salads. So this is what their um, uh, salad, it's a fresh um, fresh salad, looks like. So there's some cucumber, there's seaweed, there's... Um, um, avocado, and there's some cabbage and some greens in there. Um, so it's really, really nice. Um, then I ordered um, miso soup comes with it. I ordered eel on rice, and eel is really one of my favorite. Um, I and it's um, it's quite difficult to do at home because they don't sell um, eel in every supermarket in Britain. Um, and especially this kind of barbecued eel, you can order it, but then cooking and, and everything else, ordering, delivery, in the end it will actually cost you a lot more doing it yourself than ordering. So this is one of my favorite eel um, on rice dishes. And it actually comes with miso soup, so it comes in this really nice um, uh, container, which is um, um, leak-proof, so it's really good. Um, then I also separately ordered some ginger, because I really like ginger. And um, also, I ordered, I ordered some gyoza. Gyoza, I'll have to open it. Gyoza is a Japanese, um, is a Japanese type of uh, dumpling. Uh, this time, I ordered veg, um, vegetable gyoza. And I also want to thank um, one of my subscribers, Melanie, for reminding me to um, to to actually talk a little more about gyoza because gyoza is a Japanese version of a, a dumpling, um, which is essentially some kind of pastry layer on the outside, and internally there will be some filling, either vegetables or meat or prawns, sea seafood, and there are even. Um, amazing berry fillings or, or fruit fillings like um, a black cherry fillings used in Russia. They've got dumplings made with cherries, cherry dumplings. They're really amazing. So I want to thank Melanie again um, because she reminded me that I should really talk more about it and perhaps make a, um, a longer separate video about dumplings. Because Chinese also, as you know, have dumplings and Italians love their pasta and they've got all sorts of um, ravioli and these types of, um, which are essentially also dumplings. Um, and in comparison, for example, Japanese um, is one of the thinnest pastries um, in all those dumplings. And also they've got very fine filling, so it's finely chopped and finely. Um, Italians also have very smooth fillings, but they are much bigger on pasta because they really like their pasta. So their ravioli and other uh, similar um, foods, they actually have more pasta in them. And then there's also um, uh, Chinese, their dumplings. Uh, the Russians use their dumplings with meat and um, vegetables, onions, um, cabbage, um, and they've got even these black cherry dumplings. Um, the, the Russian dumplings are sort of between Japanese and Italian and Chinese. They've got their own um, structure and their own feelings. Um, uh, uh, that are very specific to those Russian uh, dishes. So I will do also, I will show you the menu um, from Hair and Tortoise uh, later on. And um, they also do have sweet things. Um, they've got uh, cakes, which is unusual for Japanese. And they've got matcha cakes, chocolate cakes, but this time I didn't order any of those. But what I will do instead, I will try um, this m and Christmas pudding. I'll do... Um, I'll see how this works, and um, you will of course see the uh, the menu and um, the their delivery page later on. Here we are. 
So this is the Herr and Tortoise Bloomsbury uh, Deliveroo page. Um, they, the branch I am ordering from um, is located um, in this um, Brunswick Centre in London, WC1. Um, there's a really nice shopping area in that same um, centre. They've got a really, really large um, Waitrose store. And um, um, they've got a cinema in there. They've got a um, couple of really nice restaurants and a few other shops, um, very useful shops for um, getting your essentials for home, for household. And there's Superdrug and... Um, and this branch also um, of Japanese food is very popular. It's kind of fusion food here. It's not just Japanese. Um, and I will explain why later. So their menu includes traditional um, maki. Maki is what um, we typically, you know, think of, of sushi. But sushi in Japan um, are generally divided into these subcategories. And maki is this um, um, roll of rice rolled into seaweed and then cut into these um, uh, segments. Um, so these are called maki, and we've got these traditional um, um, salmon and avocado. Um, you know what the interesting thing is? Um, salmon in Japan has never been actually traditionally used for sushi. Uh, this has been introduced relatively recently, and it is now used in Japan too. So this is something interesting. So salmon uh, and sushi and maki is not traditionally Japanese um, fish that they would normally use, uh, but it is now. Um, so, so it's European influence. Then they've got all these California maki. This is, again, it's, it's a new invention in the recent times. Um, they've got this uh, unagi and avocado maki. That sounds quite quite cool, actually. Um, and, and this is like a roll of six pieces. So it is quite pricey, but unagi is, is actually barbecued eel. So it's going to be really delicious. Um, I haven't actually tried this one just yet. And as I'm doing this review, I've actually just spotted it in the menu. This is because the menu is so large in this restaurant. I sometimes just go for whatever I personally like and skip the rest. But in this review, it's a good chance to, to discover a few interesting new things. So now we've got our bigger rolls. Um, they've got, again, salmon. Um, they've got tempura here. Um, they've got vegetarian version. Tuna, tuna um, is always a good choice because Japanese do amazing things with tuna. Um, again, California um, and um, so these are yeah, so these are the roles that um, you would expect, um, and some of the modern inventions as well. Um, one thing I'm going to mention is something that's very popular in Japan is otoro. And otoro is quite difficult to get in um, in in European Japanese ver um, so restaurants um, because it's a prime cut. It's a really, really expensive cut of tuna belly. It's very soft, very fatty um, segment of tuna. So there's more um, rolls here. We can see um, crab hand roll, handmade roll. They've got rainbow roll, eight pieces. Uh, it's probably because there's a variety of different... Um, Different food, different fish, fish in there. Um, spider maki, that sounds interesting. Seaweed filled with uh, deep fried soft uh, crab. Okay, so um, tori katsu maki, oh, that's very interesting. Inside out seaweed roll filled with um, deep fried. Mm, interesting. So now we've got sushi boxes. So these are collections and arrangements of sushi. And here we have um, essential sushi box, um, which includes a variety. Um, we've got vegetarian box. Um, we've got um, salmon box, 12 pieces. We've got deluxe sushi box, um, nice. Uh, classic sushi box. Um, I have. I will mention that I haven't actually tried their sushi boxes, but um, judging... Um, by how they look on pictures they look fantastic and judging by what i've already ordered from this restaurant it's going to be absolutely lovely so now here we are nigiri and so this is what we traditionally think of sushi these pieces of fish on top of rice and in japan this is called nigiri um and here we will have a really good selection um so um they've got uh, sake nigiri they've got um um, maguro nigiri, this is really nice tuna pieces. 
um, they've got um, taco nigiri, um, that's octopus, That's that sounds really good. They've got ikura nigiri, ikura is, is a caviar, um, a, a fish caviar, um, so, um, so, and in this case it's salmon, salmon roe. Um, so then we've got a more, and in this section we've got um, a flying fish um, caviar. Um, we've got uh, prawn nigiri, they call it um, ebi nigiri. We've got um, scallop, and that sounds very nice. Um, then we've got um, unagi nigiri. That's very nice. Um, we've got Tofu Pocket. I really like this particular one. Tofu Pocket is really great. Uh, then we've got... Uh, what else? Snow Crab. Um, yeah, that's really good as well. So these are the really um, nice nigiri selections. So, and in this section we've got um, sashimi. Sashimi is raw... Uh, fish and um, Japanese are the best at preparing these. Um, I have tried their sashimi, but I tried um, their sashimi in a slightly different um, from a different section. But here, as you can see, we've got good selection of um, tuna. We've got salmon. We've got um, uh, we've got what else? We've got varieties and different selection. We've got yellowtail. Um, five pieces and they're beautifully arranged usually just like you see on the photos so um these are going to be delicious raw fish selections so then they've got noodle dishes and again um there's so much choice here and what is really useful is that they actually show um spicy versions um those little peppers next to those menu items they indicate um spicy uh, spiciness um so there's a really good selection here um, they're all either rice noodles and they've got Thai noodles here as well. So that's why I was saying um, that this um, restaurant isn't just Japanese. It's like a fusion and a mixture. So you get some of the Thai noodles, you get some of the uh, European dishes. And later on, I will show you there's more interesting stuff that normally they don't get in Japanese restaurants. So here we are. We've got now um, beef chili and black bean. Um, we've got tofu and vegetable, um, vegetarian again dish. Um, and again, chicken chili and black bean. Um, so these, I think, these are, are more Thai or general Asian or maybe even Chinese than Japanese. So that's why I'm saying this is more of a fusion restaurant which includes a variety of Asian um, cuisine dishes, um, which I think is really, really great. So you can order um, a variety of different Asian um, dishes from one place. So here we are, we've got some ramen dishes now, and this is going to be really tasty as well. So um, they've got a good choice here from tofu and vegetable ramen to some really spicy three peppers, a curry uh, ramen. They've got miso ramen, um, which is a um, traditional Japanese. They've got tempura udon ramen, which will include um, some noodles in there. And they've got grilled chicken ramen. Um, they've got, yeah, so it's a really good selection of different ramens here now. So let's see what's in the next menu. Um, so there's more ramens, uh, some spicy and tomato ramen. That sounds very interesting. Um, tomato ramen sounds a little unusual. I'm going to have to try this one because this includes ramen, tomato-based soup topped with other nibbles. So, and next section is donburi. And this donburi is what I also uh, I ordered from them in the past. So um, I ordered this um, chirashi don. And chirashi don is a selection of sashimi, raw fish, on rice. Um, and I have to tell you, this is really delicious. So you get... Um, the best of both worlds. You get Japanese rice and, and Japanese raw fish. And all of this is in this chirashi don. So they've got now um, more rice dishes. And um, here there's a really good choice. So so there's a penang curry. This is going to be spicy. Katsu curry. Um, this is going to be really nice. Um, lightly spicy. Um, this is going to be typical Japanese. Japanese don't like it to be really, really hot. So this is going to be very mild. 
Um, then they've got tori katsu curry. They've got king prawn fried rice. Sounds very good. Chicken teriyaki and rice. Chicken fried rice. So, um, yeah, so good selection. And reasonably priced, too. So let's see what we've got in the next menu. So the next menu is salads. Yes, and this is what I really like about this restaurant. Um, I've ordered their their green salad, um, this um, £5.50 in the past. And you know what? It comes as a very large uh, box. You know, you get a really generous serving, which is, again, unusual for a Japanese restaurant. Um, but again, because this is a fusion and, and they're selling it to European clients, um, th this salad is more like a, an Italian-style European salad. Um, leafy greens, uh, some cherry tomatoes, and um, avocados you can see on the menu but they've got some other salads here too and and traditionally i also like their seaweed salads this is traditionally japanese and again this next menu item um uh, is very very um popular and i like it too this is very traditional japanese tempura which is um, um pieces of vegetables lightly are fried in or in 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 um in oil and before it's fried it's covered in fish and chips style batter but japanese batter actually differs from um your typical fish and chips or or any other type of it, what what tends to happen with japanese version it's lighter and it's crispier so it's light and crisp so vegetables inside the, inside them is really uh, pleasant and tasty so here now we've got um more interesting um, greens and snacks and, and nibbles. So um, they've got beans, they've got um, chicken, um, uh, they've got, um, yeah, some unusual dishes. I, I, I'll, ha I'll say that I haven't actually tried many of these from this menu section, but they all look really delicious. Deep fried uh, marinated chicken with crispy um, which is crispy and tender. It sounds fantastic, really, to me. I'll definitely have to try some of these. Then they've got more. Okay, and here, here are some of the traditional snacks now, very Japanese snacks. So what we see here is yoza. Yoza is a is a typical is a like a, like a Chinese dumpling, but um, what happens with Japanese um, style um, dumpling is that their pastry. Um, uh, is very thin. It's much, much thinner than Chinese, and they also like it like it uh, grilled and and fried a bit more. So you can see these crispy um, sides. Chinese don't do this, but Japanese have this crispy, um, crispy um, uh, grilled um, uh, grilled um, pastry. Um, so that's that's what makes it very different. Uh, there, uh, okay. Well, on the extras menu again, they've got additional um, rice um, portions you could order separately: egg fried rice, a plain noodles, miso soup, which is perfect. Sometimes miso soup already is already packaged in your. If it's an expensive um, item you ordered, um, you can you can if you read from the description, you will find that sometimes miso is already included. What I typically order from here is fresh chili sauce or fresh chilies and the chili sauce is is all very very good here also um in this section ginger i i often add um additional ginger and i often keep it because it's very tasty and i keep it for for later i keep it in the fridge and um and use it later so wasabi is also very useful uh, to order here so if you like wasabi you could order an extra portion keep it in the fridge and um, and use it later with other dishes so all these are going to be really useful so and here's another section which i would say um it differs this particular japanese restaurant from others um because japanese um they have very little when it comes to pudding um or they only offer very Japanese pudding, which is uh, sweet rice um, bowls um, with with a little bit of um, um, sweet kind of red bean um, paste in them. Um, for European customers, um, it's it's a little um, it's it's the choices are very limited if you if you go to a traditional Japanese restaurant. But here we've got this really amazing choice of cheesecakes, um, matcha cakes, and other uh, very beautiful. Uh, cakes 
So then um, in conclusion, they've got in their menu, they've got soft drinks. These are typical soft drinks such as uh, Coke, um, different waters um, and um, sparkling water, um, still waters they offer and, and Sprite. Um, they've also got um, additional alcoholic drinks, um, which is also very nice because not every um, Japanese will offer these. I mean, you, they typically require additional license for, for alcohol. Um, but with these guys, they do have license here. So in the next section, we're going to see um, a selection of their typical beers. Um, so they, they've got this Asahi, they've got Tiger, um, they've got some of the some of the other Japanese uh, beers. And also there's, they've, they've got a small selection of wines. Um, it's not included in, in this review, but um, it's just it's becoming really long. But they do offer um, white uh, wines. Um, so if you log on to this uh, Japanese restaurant website or their delivery, delivery page, you will see a lot more than in this review. But this review is already very long. So I hope this was useful for you. And let me wish you bon appetit. And we'll chat again soon.